We are Lucas and Mommy from Kevin. And today we are gonna, what are we gonna do? Dye some beautiful yarn. <laughs> yep. Lucas, how old are you? Oh, uh, five years old. Five and a half, actually. <laughs> and yeah, he's been dyeing yarn with me with food coloring and wool based yarns for. Goodness, probably since he was about three. Mm -hmm. So let's go have some fun. Do, 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 do. I'm already having fun dancing. Da, da, da. <laughs> I love you. I know, because I am pretty others. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm super silly today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's this? This is our Easter egg dye. If anyone wants to buy this, just look at first. At, from at stars. Okay. Anyway, we've got a nine color Easter egg dye kit that we got on clearance. And yeah, we're gonna dye some yarn. The yarn in this pan is 100% wool. It's Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Worsted Weight Yarn. And there's just a little bit of liquid in here that is left over from uh, the rainbow Easter egg live stream that I did last week. And action. I'm using my dedicated steam pan and a uh, reusable nylon zip tie uh, so that way it would be easy to flip the yarn over or really it just acts as an extra tie. But now what color is our yarn right now? Uh, just like it came from like cheap. <laughs> oh okay well we now need to add some yarn. I mean dye. <laughs> it's okay, honey. <laughs> These are the nine tablets, but you know, one of them did break. So there's no heat on here right now, but Lucas, I want you to go ahead and start taking these tablets and putting them where you want the colors on your yarn. Make sure that you spread them out, okay? Ooh, looks like some of them are starting to dissolve, like that one. Lucas, what does dissolve mean? It means like just, it means start breaking apart little by little and then leaving trails of color behind or something. Oops. That's okay, it could go there. How'd you know? Okay. Well, how am I gonna use that dye? You might want one over there, but you can put them wherever you want. Oh, that's good. Okay, should I, do we want these last little bits on or should I not? Dump them on. Let's dump. Okay, dumped. Uh, whoa, looks like that blue is really spreading around here. Yeah, so now what should I do? Now I'm just turn the heat on. Gotta, gotta make sure I'm far away from it. That's better. That's better. Let me make sure that the heat is on high. We are now on two burners, and we're going to start heating things up. But ooh, those powders did give us some like speckly. I know, and that blue is really dissolving fast. It sure is, kiddo. All right, I'm gonna go get the other camera so I can set it up and we can watch these colors spread out. All right, okay, now I can move on the color. Action! From cell phone to the DSLR, we can now watch these colors spread out. And, and that orange one is really coming out yellow and hasn't even spread out at all. Yeah, well, so I want to... We may get some color mixed up. Yes, there might be some color mixing. But so what I'm doing now is tapping these tablets down where they are located. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that these tablets can access water. Now, I'm not going to move this around a lot. We're going to let these colors spread out where you placed them but they do need to have access to some water so they can dissolve it looks like that blue one that pink one has got some blue with it yes because we had some blue sprinkle all over now when we did uh again the water in here probably had three or four cups of vinegar at one point it was very very acidic but we did already use it to dye some uh, to dye some yarn with Easter egg dye tablets. And so that raises the pH, which means it's less acidic, which means the colors might spread out some more. So I don't know if we're gonna have something that looks like this, or if the colors are gonna just spread out a lot. But that is part of the fun, don't you think? Yeah, sure do. Hey, hey mommy? Yes, baby. 
can, can you, when we do our color spray, can we have orange, yellow, and red? When we do our, we do an orange, yellow, and red one sometime? Yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Sure does. Do, 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 All right. Do, do. Now, Lucas, we're going to do something that's called a time lapse. Let's... Which means that I'm going to film and then we're going to speed it up so we can watch what happens to the colors. Got it. Lucas, tell Daddy what you're doing. Daddy, look what, look what we've made. You can see a little blue dot on my finger, so I dropped those coins in. Daddy, see that blue is really spreading out. We have may have some more bright splotches because the more colors, the more pretty. Oh yeah? Well, tell me what else you see, Lucas. I can see that that blue and green. I think that the blue and yellow is making some green there. And I can see the pink racing in with the blue. The blue really spread out everywhere. And you see that liquid there? That's where I put a coin off of the arm. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay, the dye will spread. And so what are the what are the tablets doing? They're just dissolving. <laughs> just like seashells do. Wait, do seashells dissolve? Only in some kinds of water. That's true. That is true, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it has been probably around 15 minutes or so total. Lucas is upstairs getting ready for bed, being rather loud. And I am going to go ahead and add some splashes of vinegar. And this is sort of serving like a dual purpose, <laughs> if you will. We are adding some more acid uh, onto our yarn, but we're also increasing our volume of liquid. So hopefully these colors will strike and they won't get too muddy, but if we had an area that was getting too basic, hopefully this will help. And I promise he is not getting tortured up there. I think that they are just having some fun <laughs> roughhousing before bed. 15 minutes later and the colors, I think, are oh, they still got a lot of green. Oh, the green, but all right, in other places, eh, there's still a lot of teal there. Uh, let's check. Alright, I feel like we're probably starting to clear. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to turn up the heat a bit. And, yep, I'm adding a little more vinegar in some of these spots. Especially the spots with a lot of color. We could end up with our green average, uh, but... You know, I've, I've got some hope. We've got some hope here. So uh, cross your fingers for us and yeah, I'll be back in another 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes is up and most of the color I think is in the yarn, but there's still a bit of blue and stuff that's spreading. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some reinforcements. And by reinforcements, I mean a skein of bare yarn that I am just sort of positioning on top. And this is completely a yarn mop type scenario where we really just want to have something to help us soak up that extra color. This yarn did soak in some water and vinegar in advance, so it is, well, I guess not necessarily introducing more vinegar, but it has some more vinegar in here. And, and oh, that's a little warm. Um, but it's sort of giving a spot for some of this color to go. Um, and hopefully will help us preserve some of these colors. I'm really only expecting to get some pastels onto here. Um, but so maybe we'll over dye that second skein later. But I'm going to turn up the heat and sort of, I guess, let this sit for about 10 minutes. Our yarn mop might be getting a little more color than I thought. But let's see, all right, I'm still seeing some of that blue in there. Um, but we are, 
yeah, I think over here, it's really just that one, mm, maybe there's a hint of turquoise over here. It's really all those blue colors. So I think what I'm gonna do now is turn off the heat completely and let this cool in the pan and hopefully it'll soak up any additional color. And we'll come back once it's cool. Hey Lucas, do you wanna see your yarn? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, well, if you look at this, what do you think? Oh, the uh, blue is spread all around it. But a lot, I can see. And I can see some green on there, and the orange really spread out. But I think the green spread out a whole lot. Yeah? Well, alright, let me remove the yarn. There's another piece underneath. There's another piece underneath. The same kind? Well, it is the same kind of yarn, but this one was a bonus extra yarn. Um, that I put on because I didn't want the colors to spread too much. I wanted to keep some of the yellow and the orange and pink and blue. So I used this extra to help. Yet with these Easter egg dye tablets, then you get a lot of green spreading out. Sure do. <laughs> That's sort of what happens. But do you like it? Oh, yeah. Okay, what's your favorite part of it? Oh, I have a favorite part. Well, I like the... I have a color, but I don't have a favorite part, really. Mm. Now, is this the yarn that you want for your new hat? Or do you think we want another yarn? Oh, uh, let's see. It's missing purple. <coughs> Pink. <coughs> Blue. <coughs> Red. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Well, that's purple and that's pink. No red or yellow. Hello. But we're missing red. I want a hat with red on it. Oh, okay. What other colors do you want? Oh, uh, I, I want every color in the rainbow, including pink. Oh, so should we make a rainbow yarn? Yeah. Would you like my help with that? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to go design the yarn? How? Well, why don't you go color a picture of it? Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'll go wash this. Now I'm going to take Lucas's yarn out of the pot, and that dye math is clear, and so I am very, very happy. We finally got a very rainbow-licious yarn, even if there's no red, <laughs> with these tablets uh, using Lucas's application method. Now I'm going to go wash the yarn, and I'll use a little clear dish soap. I'm not expecting any bleeding, so I'm not going to film that. You can see that step in almost any of my videos. Uh, but then once I've washed it, I'm going to put it through my Nina Soft Spin Dryer to remove the excess water, hang it up to dry, and then Lucas will come back for some conclusions. Right, Luke? Right. Just getting this stuff. Here is the yarn that Lucas created with some Easter egg dye tablets. And he really likes it. Unfortunately, it is not rainbow enough for him because where's the blue? Where's the red? And so he's off trying to design another kind of skein. So we'll see what we create next time. Uh, he still likes it. It's just not what he wants for his winter hat next year. When it was dying, the colors were spreading, as will happen with these dye tablets. And I started getting a little nervous. I didn't want it to just become all green. I wanted to preserve some of the orange and the pink and the yellow. So I tossed a whole other skein on top. And I figured that, oh, it wouldn't end up with that much color. But we got this beautiful pastel. And it picked up a lot more than just green. Um, there's hints of purple and orange and blue, as well as the greens. And I think that potentially some of the dye tablets may not have completely dissolved once I put this in because otherwise it doesn't make quite as much sense to me that it would this much color would come out because I normally don't see a lot of bleeding with the dye tablets but I am thrilled with both of these skeins and now we'll go find Lucas so that way you can hear what he thinks about it. Lucas what month is it? Die November, otherwise known as November, where <laughs> no bad things happen. That's why the word no is in it. Yeah, it's two words, no and November. Oh, awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm.
<laughs> okay, but do you remember, I don't know if you remember, do you remember when you dyed yarn with Easter egg dye tablets? <laughs> Lucas, do you remember dyeing that yarn or no? It's okay if you don't. Uh, a little. A little? Well, that was all the way back in April. That was a long time ago. And when Mommy was editing the video today, I realized we hadn't filmed the end. Are you ready to see the finished dry yarn? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Do 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 Wait, is this it? No, well, this is it. Hello. Okay, well, well, what do you think of the yarn? Awesome. What's awesome about it? So beautiful. Woohoo. Which one do you like better? Both. No, no. If you had to pick one, which one do you like better? This one. And I want to make a hat with both yarns. With both of them? Well, you've been dying a lot of yarn, so I actually have a lot of options. And guess what? Mommy has a plan for us to make a super orange yarn for you soon for your hat this year. Ooh. And we'll combine some of these rainbow yarns with the orange one. What do you think? That will make a rainbow 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 rainbow. And is that a good thing? Yeah. Okay, so you would like that? Yeah. All right. Well, there we have it. The yarn that Lucas and Mommy dyed a very long time ago. But guess when this video is going to come out? When I'm going to share it with everyone? When? Around Thanksgiving. Do you know why I'm choosing to show, share this video around Thanksgiving? Why? Because what am I thankful for? Me. Yeah, I'm thankful for you. Wait a minute, are you going to show it to everyone in the Thanksgiving thing? Well, no, not where we go for Thanksgiving, but I am going to share it with all, everyone who loves cum knits. Uh... Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> I am Lucas for cum knits. Please subscribe to this tutorial. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and please subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and if you love, would love to see more of a Lucas dyeing yarn with me, uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Oh, Come mommy. Here. What? Can we make things for my friends? Maybe, yeah. Maybe not hats, but we <gasps> actually we got a loom so that way maybe you can try to make some hats with the yarn that you made. Would you like that? Yay! Okay, now, hey Lucas, where do you want to work when you grow up? With Chemnitz, mommy, mommy. You want to work with, you want to work with Chemnitz when you grow up? Yeah, me, 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 mommy. And what do you want to do, what do you want to do for Chemnitz when you grow up? Make some videos about, like, stuff like, you, you make videos about everything, right? Not just on your own. Sure, I make videos about things not just dyeing yarn. Um, what, what, what do you want to make videos about? Some Pokemon pages. You want to make some Pokemon videos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe you can be the in charge of the Chemnitz Pokemon division. And Minecraft and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Minecraft, Ninjago, Pokemon, <laughs> and, oh yeah, and Dogman. Oh, and what about yarn? Mmm, that's it. Oh, the yarn is mommy. But do you also want to dye some yarn with me? Yeah. But, but do you also want to dye some yarn with me? Yeah! What's your favorite part of doing Chemnitz videos? Um, I think it is making vid new videos. Yeah! <laughs> do you like watching yourself on camera? Yeah! <laughs> All right, so what do you want to say to everybody? Can you say, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and see me in my Pokemon tutorial, Minecraft tutorial, Dogman tutorial, and Ninjago tutorial in like 30 years. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> smile, for the, smile for the thumbnail. Ha, 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 ha.